When we're talking about plane crashes, it's important to distinguish between commercial airliners and general aviation aircrafts. Think private small planes. The crash in Gaithersburg involved a small plane. So did the last crash there back in June. Our Verify researchers looked at data from the National Transportation Safety Board, or NTSB for short, and spoke with transportation expert Charlie Pereira to verify whether small planes get in more accidents than commercial planes. For reference, NTSB considers anything that results in substantial damage to the plane or serious injury to be an accident. They don't use the word crash. Still, we can verify it's true. Statistically, yes, they do uh, quite a bit more frequently. For example, in 2019, there were 1,220 accidents, 233 of which were fatal. That same year, commercial planes had 40 accidents and two were deadly. As for their accident rates, in 2019, the accident rate for a commercial plane was 0.2 accidents for every 100,000 hours flown. For a private plane, it's more than 25 times higher, 5.6 accidents for every 100,000 hours. In general, it's an experience thing and a, um, and a regulatory oversight and requirements thing. Uh, on the maintenance side, uh, on general aviation, uh, your maintenance requirements are uh, far, far lower. That said, according to a spokesperson for the Aircraft Owners and Pilots Association, quote, General Aviation has experienced one of the safest years on record, according to NTSB data. With your Verify, I'm Michael Burton.